Hey guys, if you're trying to download a game in Steam but it's just not downloading, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to show you some troubleshooting steps you can use to fix this issue. So the first thing we need to do is actually head over to the Steam application. Then from here you need to press Steam in the top left here and head over to Settings. Then come over to the Downloads tab and the first thing we're going to change is this Download region. You want to make sure the Download region is set to where you're currently based. I'm in UK London so this one's really accurate for me, but make sure you've just selected a server that's actually close to where you're based at the moment. We then need to head into the storage tab on the left here, then select these three little dots and we need to select repair library. This is going to scan your Steam application to try and identify any issues. If any issues are found then it's going to go ahead and try and repair them for you. So once you've finished the scan, if everything's fine there we can close out of this window. Then head into the download section on the left here and there's a couple settings we can change in here. So where it says throttle downloads while streaming, we want to turn this option off as this can also prevent you guys from downloading games on Steam. We then want to come slightly down to where it says clear download cache and we're going to go ahead and press this button clear cache then just press confirm. This is going to ask you to log back into Steam so simply log back in and check to see if the issue is fixed. So if you've tried these steps so far and it's still not working the next thing we're going to do is check our firewall settings. So come over to the start menu and search for Windows Defender. Tap on the Windows Defender Firewall and come into Allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall on the left here. You then need to press this Change Settings button and we can scroll all the way down this list and what we're looking for is Steam. As you can see, I already have Steam in this list so you just need to make sure both private and public are checked. If Steam isn't listed in here, say for example if I just remove this for a second, then what you'll need to do is you'll need to come into Allow another app, select Browse and then you need to locate where Steam saved which is in the C drive underneath Program Files x86 six come all the way down to the Steam folder and head in there and then if we scroll down we can find the Steam executable file we just double click that and select add and once again make sure both private and public are checked then you can just press OK to save those changes. Then another thing we can do is come back to the start menu and search for CMD. Then right click on the command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. And we're just going to clear our network cache by typing in ipconfig space slash flush DNS and then hit enter. And then we can close off of this command prompt window. And if that's still not working for you, we can also try updating our network drivers. So head back to the start menu and search for device manager. Tap on the device manager tab and expand this box here where it says network adapters and locate your Wi-Fi adapter. So mine's this Intel Wi-Fi one here. Yours would be called something similar. It would definitely have Wi-Fi in the name. So right click on your Wi-Fi adapter and select update driver. And then you can press search automatically for drivers. As you can see, I already have the latest drivers installed. But if Windows does identify an outdated driver, then it will be listed here. So then we can close out of these windows. And the last and final thing you can do, guys, if that's still not working, is I'd recommend to completely reinstall the app, which we can do just by heading to the start menu and searching for programs. Tap on add or remove programs. Then scroll all the way down to find the Steam application in this list. Then you just need to press these three little dots and hit uninstall. Once you've uninstalled the application, you then Need to head back to the start menu and search for run tap on this run icon inside of here you need to type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign and hit enter and scroll all the way down to see if there's a steam folder located in here and if there is you just need to right click on it and select the trash icon to delete this steam folder we can then head back over to the official steam website from an internet browser to re-download the application and hopefully by following all of these steps that's now fixed you out and you can now download games on steam if this video did help you please drop a like and subscribe until next time